Welcome back to a beautiful Friday. It is so nice out now. The snow is melting. It is going to be soon time to get this thing out to get even better videos of this car and driving and other point of views and just some fun hooning around. But today, do you have any carbon part that looks very grainy and it looks very wavy and bumpy? Because that is what happens when the curing process occurs with resin and carbon. It'll recede a little bit into the carbon and it'll give you this sort of effect where it looks very, very bumpy and grainy. So in this case, this is for a fellow super owner. So they got the lip, it started to, to do that sort of curing curing process on the carbon and it receded and what they did was they got it re-cleared. So re-clearing it is great, That's it kind of helps uh, even out some of those, those waves in, in the carbon. And what we're gonna try now is to just fix that by maybe just sanding it down. So if you have anything that looks like this, I'm gonna show you how to go about fixing all of those waves that's in it, and we are gonna make this thing right back to brand new again. Let's do it. All right, so let me fill you in. I spent at least two hours sanding and buffing. The buffing took the longest part. That, that was the bulk of it. I sanded down with 1,000, went up to 1,500, went to 2,000, and that's when I started buffing. I used an aggressive compound, and then I went to my fine cut compound. I, did I put it I already put it away. Um, but I just gave up after that because it just wasn't. It still wasn't having it. There's a lot of pinholes from when they had previously re-cleared it. And also on top of the little rock chips and stuff in there. What I was trying to do was avoid having to re-resin it. But we're going to have to re-resin it. So you could see kind of some of the pinhole in real big, uh, big divots and stuff in here. Which I want to get rid of. But it did flatten out. Which was the goal. So it flattened out. But... I just didn't keep going with the buffing process because I'd rather this thing look as brand new as possible than have a bunch of pinholes but be somewhat shiny. So you are now going to see me scuff this thing up and get it ready for some resin. Alright, so I just mixed up a little batch of resin here. You know, for the sake of everything that I pretty much do, working with carbon or even just anything, period, really, with the car, I try and make it as simple as possible for people to just be able to do it. Because doing something like this, 
you know, a lot of people, they would just say, oh, wow, well, that sucks. That's just how it looks now when you can easily fix it. Uh, a lot of people probably wouldn't want to go and buy a thing of resin. They make a small, oh, I'm trying to grab it right now. They make a small mix that you can buy. And this is off of Amazon. So, I mean, you could buy a starter kit. I think this is like maybe 15 bucks. And that's probably just enough. This is this is how much I'm using here. I'm using a little bit in a cup right now. Uh, and yes, I did use a drill for mixing it because my arms got tired. But it's a very simple thing that you can do. And even if you think you've messed up, there's certain parts where you might say like, oh no, like there's like a, a drip. That's how it's going to look. Resin is very, very hard when it cures. When it cures, it takes, I would say four to five days to fully cure in proper temperatures like 75 and up um but it's hard and it sands out and it's forgiving it's very forgiving trust me working with you know being able to use clear coats and all that i would rather well no resin is a lot harder to work with but just for the sake of forgiveness it's so forgiving it, it really is so when you're doing something like this don't ever think that you have to send it out to someone. You can easily do this. I'm doing this in a, you know, you can see this. I'm doing this in a tiny, tiny garage space here, but I make it work. A lot of the stuff I've done have done it right here, you know? So everything is very, very easy to be able to do. Just, you gotta take your time. All right, let's put some resin on it. There you go. Now you can see a little better. So what I'm gonna do is just start by brushing it. I'm just gonna take a little bit off and we're just gonna lay it on. Take what I got here. Now, the one thing you gotta be careful with is I'm not using what's known as an acid brush, meaning these bristles just like that will fray off and they'll land in your project. If you don't catch it in time, you will see that. I haven't used these brushes in a while and it's winter right now, so they are probably just gonna keep doing this left and right. Now, one of the greatest parts about this is resin has a lot of air bubbles in it when you mix it, or at least when you mix it the way I do, which is on a drill. And all of these just pop. They pop when you use a heat gun. So that's what I'm talking about with forgiveness. I'm gonna show you a little bit later when I'm ready to use the heat gun. But right now where you see all these bubbles, this thing is gonna glass out and it's gonna look like it was just freshly clear coated. And it's one of the most satisfying things. Uh, also, just as a side note here, I'm not doing this in optimal temperature. Optimal for me right now would be summer to do a project like this. Uh, but I just, you know, I've done so many like this that I just kind of know what's going to happen here. And for me, for my backlash here, it's not going to be too much. This thing has a lot of time to cure, so it will be able to properly cure. And on top of that, I did use a little bit extra hardener in there. And I do have my little heater right above me. So it's going to work for what I need it to. I think I might actually have some extra after this. I thought I mixed up a good amount. I got this whole side though with just that. Maybe one thick coat in the middle. Let me make sure. Can you guys see the middle? I, I want you guys to be able to see the, the good part. Actually, you know what? I'm going to time lapse you guys from right here. It is just going to be me brushing on coats. Now, single-handedly, one of the greatest moments when you're working with resin and you have everything looking like this. So everything is laid on. Now, if you look close, you can see all the little imperfections. Everything you're seeing here is air. And it is trapped air making its way out. And I'm going to show you just how good this is about to look. 
with a little bit of heat. All right, so after all of that, let me show you how it came out. And it looks very, very good. The only thing you're gonna be seeing now is all those little rock chips that's in there, which, of course, if I did, you know, five to six coats of this, we'd be able to fill, but we're not gonna go that crazy because, again, this is a front lip, and this is something that is going to be destroyed over time, although we are gonna make this look as absolutely brand new as possible so a lot of it maybe i will end up going back uh and doing a secondary coat on it but for now this is how it looks and it glassed out very 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 well as you could see and all of those little ribs before that you would see in the carbon are now gone those are sanded away which is so nice now you are gonna see me in about 0.2 seconds because i'm gonna give this about three days here you gotta love the power of editing so, I didn't want to show you again because it's just a very bland, boring part, the sanding. But I got that coat now sanded down. So now, see how everything is nice and flush and smooth? That is what we are looking for. So now, what I'm going to do is go over this piece with 3,000. I just hit it with uh, 1,000, then I went up to 1,500. Now I'm going to do 3,000 to finish it off, and then we are going to buff this thing. And it would be nice, the biggest help would be if I had a, uh, a rotary, like one of the mini rotary buffers like the Rupees uh, company has. I don't have one, so I'm gonna have to use it on a DA, which makes it take much, much longer because this buffer right here is not a, a very powerful uh, DA. It kind of just stops spinning when it gets too, too much pressure on it. So what we are gonna do now is hit the sucker with 3000. All right, so we just finished doing a nice little sanding. Now you can see just how almost shining it is. Going that high of a grid really brings out the actual look of it. I wanna, I wanna get you guys outside. Let's take you outside so you can really see what this thing looks like. Let's see how this thing looks in the sun. Oh man, the door just smacked the car. Hold on. To get you guys right here. Now it almost looks like a dried carbon sort of a look. Very dusty from all the sanding. Looks good. Now it's time to do the polish. All right, so let me explain now what we're going to be using. So I'm using a SADA, and this is one of their, I think this is their light compound pad. I'm just taking a guess. It's very soft, very squishy. It's got, this also might be one of their polishing pads, but to me, this is going to be perfect. I'm going to be using a fine cut compound by Meguiar's. This is what I've used in the past, and it has shown good results. So I'm going to use this on the DA. I'm probably going to turn the D up, DA up to its highest potential just so we can cut through as much as we can because I know this resin is hard. This resin is hard to buff. When I had to do the fender, that is just collecting dust right up there. It took a very, very long time to buff, and then I ended up just switching over to my big buffer, my rotary. I didn't want to, 
but I did came out fine either way. I just didn't know how the resin would react in case it would burn or something or melt in that case. But that's what we're gonna be using. We're gonna see how it comes out. After what would be equivalent of maybe two and a half hours, close to three hours buffing that, it is finally where I want it to be. So now, after all of that, you have a nice, flat, and clean surface. No little carbon waves from the resin receding. It looks so good. So, so good. That is exactly what we wanted to get out of that. I'm going to see if I can get you guys a picture of what it looks like on his Supra. It looks very good. But, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.